three days of uh, stunning nature nice vistas and peaks jungle come and hike the trail I mean Dubrovnik is like 30 minutes from here what are we talking about <music> I began my adventure in Tsavtat, the starting point of the heart of Konavle. I chose to go counterclockwise to have a flatter section at the start and save the better views for the end. But let's place the trail on the map of Europe. Heart is located in southern Croatia bordering Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina in the largest municipality in the country, Konavle. Just a 30 minute drive from the world famous Dubrovnik, which you can see in the distance. The trail is 66 miles long with 9,800 feet of elevation gain. The Hart Trail circles around St. Elijah's Peak, which dominates the landscape throughout the adventure. And if you choose the Blue Bypass, you will even cross this peak. A common sight along the trail, also featured on the official emblem, are cypress trees. These slender green guardians of Konavle have never failed to impress me. The first water source on the trail is at the hill with a volunteer fire station. A great spot to rest and enjoy the view. I filtered some water and continued. in the day and I will I'll call the day off I'm tired yeah I'm tired the trail occasionally winds along an old abandoned narrow gauge railway called Chiro by the locals. In the early 20th century, it was the lifeline of the region, connecting Bosnia and Herzegovina, Dubrovnik and the coastal area of present-day Montenegro. But the train was discontinued in 1966. Today, these routes serve as biking and hiking trails. In the village of Bani, there's the best water source on the trail, flowing from a well-maintained outlet, fresh and refreshing.
Finally, I reached Santa Barbara's chapel, the official entrance to the most challenging part of the trail, the Dunave Holes. I put on long pants due to the presence of vipers in the area. They're not aggressive, but caution is necessary as they can bask on or under rocks on sunny days. Throughout my hike on the heart, I didn't encounter a single viper, but sturdy shoes and pants are a must, and hiking poles help announce your presence to smaller animals, such as snakes. The Dunave holes are a remote part of Konovle, and before my team and I cleared the path, no one had ventured here since the war in 1991, and in some places even longer. There used to be a whole network of peasant trails, but most had overgrown until the Hart team decided to uncover this infrastructural treasure. Fortunately, we succeeded, and now we can hike through this Mediterranean jungle on the heart of Konovle route. The route through the Dunave Holes is quite demanding. It takes an average hiker 8 to 10 hours to traverse the 10 miles of the trail. There's hardly any water except for some muddy holes that can serve in an emergency. Hence, it's crucial to enter the Dunave Holes prepared and equipped and preferably with company, as there is little to no cell signal. Yes, I went alone, but don't follow my example. Here it is. So just follow these red stripes in these jungle areas and you cannot get lost. So I exited the jungle. After nine hours of hiking, I got on the other side and here I am. It's getting dark and I'm calling the day. It's enough for today. Day three began where I finished the night before in Duba Konavoska. Although I had hiked these trails before, it was winter then and I didn't know what to expect on this stretch. But I was immediately amazed by the abundance of flowers, especially the purple sage lining the path.
The trail continued to impress and another peak awaited, Stražišče, with a picturesque trail leading up to it. Yet the dominant feature remained the one and only St. Elijah's Peak. Hey, I need to get up there on that hill. Nice. It's gonna be a fantastic view from up there. And finally, the last peak of this adventure was before me. At the top there is a cross, a monument marking the site of a plane crash from 1996 that claimed the lives of many, including US Secretary of Commerce, Ron Brown. There it was, behind me was the last peak of the heart of Konovle and I began my descent to my starting and ending point, the older brother of Dubrovnik, the town of Tsavtat, named after the Latin word Civitas Vetus, meaning old town, or as the Romans called it Epidaurus, taken from the ancient Greeks who had a colony here in the 6th century BC. Interestingly, Italians call Tsavtat Ragusa Vecchia, meaning Old Dubrovnik. Truly, a lot of history to explore. So that's it. After three days, I'm finishing the trail. Three days of uh, stunning nature. Nice vistas, and peaks, jungle. Rocky trails, grassy trails, animals, uh, sea in the distance. So Heart of Konovle is the trail that I'm an author of. I established the route. My friend Bimbo and myself, we founded the lost, old lost uh, routes and trails in the mountains of Konavle municipality so we were working whole winter and I was clearing the trails and maintaining the trails in March and after a lot of work the trail has finally become reality so that means that the website is on so please visit the website everything you need to know about this trail is there uh, social media please do follow us Come and hike the trail. I mean, Dubrovnik is like 30 minutes from here. What are we talking about? So, now I'm inviting you to come to Konovle and to enjoy the beautiful sea coast and take three or four days and hike part of Konovle hiking experience and running trail. See ya, bye.